driving down to Kentucky again today. Uh, I've got the old two valve head off pads bust in the back of my truck. And we're going to be going and putting that on a 4106. So, nothing too eventful here for about the next two and a half hours. We'll just be driving. I'll bore you guys with most of that trip. And once we get down there, the goal today is to get that head on the bus, get everything set up, and get it back on the road and running. This thing had a water pump failure and it ended up cracking ahead. Now, I'm also not the one who did the diagnosis on this or the teardown, so I am gonna be looking for other issues known to happen with overheating a two-stroke. We're gonna be checking for stuck rings, we're gonna be checking for cracked liners, any of the other common issues you see when you overheat a bus, at least one of the two-stroke Detroit unit. Um, the person who owns it is the one who did the teardown and the diagnosis themselves. The bus, I believe, got over 220 degrees. So that's definitely within, well within the territory of cracking ahead. But I'm concerned about cracked liners, stuck rings, other things like that. Because he said once he got the new water pump in the bus and got it running again, it was seeming like it had a misfire. And a cracked head could cause that, uh, especially if we're getting water in the combustion chamber. But there are other things that cause concern on there and no compression test was done uh, I'm not sure how much actual inspection was done on it so we're going to have to figure that stuff out when we get down there over the bridge you have a mile use the second from the right lane to take exit 137 for i-71 east towards cincinnati lexington welcome to kentucky here we go we're in kentucky now should be less than an hour away from this bus this one's actually pretty close so use the second from the right lane to take exit 137 then use the left lane to keep left at the fork We're almost to the bus. Uh, I didn't pay attention to where this trip was going to take me, but I took pretty much the entire route that I took to Science Hill a few weeks ago when I came down here to work on that buffalo. So, I'm not sure how far off we actually are from there, but same interstates, same back roads, same small towns. It's a great trip. I have to get the head surface and everything cleaned up, but the liners don't look too scored and I don't see any cracking inside of it. So in like typical bus grease monkey luck, no rain was forecasted for today at all. And it's raining. So I got the head under a towel right now. We've got most of the valve train in it. We're pretty close to having this ready to get sat on there. I've been out here for about an hour and They've got a cleaning station over here set up. They've been going through and cleaning all the parts up and getting ready to go back together. I'm going to get the headset back on it and then we're going to compression test the motor. I want to see what compression is before I finish putting it back together since I wasn't able to see it before it got torn down. So we ran into some problems towards the end of putting this thing together today. The injector that's in there is a much different style than a normal two-stroke Detroit. So the compression tester does not fit. It fits in the head, but the hold down won't hold it snug. We need one of the regular stamped steel ones. This has a big cast one. And when you look at the injector, the two fuel holes are directly next to each other. They're not offset, but it is still an N65 injector. So we couldn't get the compression test done on it. And on top of that, 
we have the problem with the blower. It needs a blower. So they're going to go to a local junkyard tomorrow. There is a but or there's a motor there. They're going to go check the blower on that one to see if it's good. If not, they're going to have to find a blower for it. And they're going to pick up one of the injector hold downs out of that truck. So that injector hold down um, will let them run the compression test. I left them my two stroke compression tester. So they're going to go ahead and run compression on it tomorrow and then let me know what we find because I still have a concern that we have a cylinder or two low on compression. Um, the head had some issues, but I, I don't necessarily see enough issues that I'm going to 100% confidently say that that was the problem with it. So they're going to run that compression test and let me know what the compression numbers look like going to go from there because if I need to bring back parts to rebuild the bottom end I can get those all locally in Indy and have them back when I come back down Friday um, it's four hours labor if I sit around for the day waiting on them to go check on parts and the service call to get down here is cheaper than the four hours for me to wait around tomorrow so I'm gonna go home tonight I get to sleep in my own bed I get to sit around my house tomorrow and I'll be back Friday and we'll, we'll continue from there that's gonna be the cheaper route for them so I'm waiting back, waiting for tomorrow to hear back from them. Want to hear back? We'll decide uh, if it's just going to be put the blower on, get it back together, get it running for them, or if that's not the case, then if I have to bring cylinder kits and if we have to put it back together. But I'll let you guys know. Uh, we're going to do a video tomorrow. I put a poll up on the channel, uh, the community section today. So when I get home, I'll see what won the poll, and we're going to make that video tomorrow while we're sitting around waiting. One upside of being in Kentucky, they've got Bojangles here. We don't have those in Indianapolis. So, I always like stopping while I'm out here. I'm not sure what's going on south of here, but I've been seeing all kinds of hot rods going by and heading south on 65. Uh, ever since I got on 65, right at the Kentucky-Indiana line. They've just been traveling in groups figures as I go to record something I don't see any of it but I've been seeing them non-stop 